July is National Sarcoma Awareness Month. Now, each year, about 16,000 new cases of sarcoma are diagnosed, with nearly 7,000 people succumbing to the disease. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about what you need to know with Dr. Shane Morita, Medical Director of Surgical Oncology at the Queen's Medical Center. Good morning, Dr. Morita. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. How are you doing, Ross? I'm doing excellent. Now, first off, what is sarcoma? You know, sarcoma, first of all, it's a rare cancer. I know you gave some numbers, um, and it's really a cancer that originates from the con connecting structures of the body, the supporting structures. It can come from bone, cartilage, or soft tissues such as fat, muscle, or, or nerves. And how is it diagnosed? And is there anything that people can do to spot it early on? You know, um, it's diagnosed many ways. Um, one of the more common um, entities is just be getting a biopsy, so a needle biopsy. Sometimes uh, even on imaging studies, um, like on CT scans, patients will complain of some discomfort and you can suspect it based on some of the characteristics. And what are some of the risk factors? Is there anything that people can do to prevent it? You know, um, some risk factors uh, are someone who's had radiation therapy for uh, different types of cancer or chemical exposure or just her hereditary syndromes like Lee-Fermini, so just some, some, you know, something genetic. Um, it could also be, you know, something where they've had uh, some kind of uh, tra trauma, like in, in back in the day when folks would do um, mastectomies, uh, radical mastectomies, where you can get a, a subtype of sarcoma. But really, unfortunately, there's no real way to prevent it because it's um, just a very difficult cancer to, to manage. Now, what are some of the treatment options available for patients? You know, if it's localized, i.e. didn't spread, um, typically surgery is a cornerstone. But in certain situations, sometimes we give radiation to shrink the tumor. If it's near um, some dangerous structures, which, such as blood vessels, or sometimes we give chemotherapy. Um, other types of options, including immunotherapy, molecular uh, therapy, those are all uh, certainly um, uh, options in certain situations. Now, to learn more about the Queen's Cancer Center, you can call 691-8777, or you can go to www.queens.org and click on Cancer. Thank you very much, Dr. Marita. Thanks for all the great information, and hope you have a wonderful day.